Are you done? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so um, it's actually, I believe, is a team of uh, three. And I think, uh, yeah, they, uh, they did a project on the digital photo frame. And I believe it must be that, you know, they want the raspberry pi. And without further ado, over to Kenneth. Okay, hi, hi guys. So we're gonna change gears a bit. Um, I'm gonna ask for now, how many of you guys are actually fairly new to uh, Internet of Things or working with things like Raspberry Pi? Is there any beginner at all in this auditorium? Okay, very great. You actually turned up at Google as a beginner. Brilliant. Uh, so am I. Uh, that's why I'm changing gears. So me and Donna and our friend Daniel, who is running late, but he'll be here soon. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I mentioned that. So we, we did a, we tried to do a very simple project and I think you know we were a bit scared of going up here because our topic is not as complex. Um, our project is not as uh, you know hard to put together. But since we're here we thought we'd share anyway and you know this probably is an example, right? If Kenneth and Donna can do it, so can you. Right? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's my first time sitting in the Raspberry Pi as well, so please be nice. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is her first talk in Hackware as well, so for her first talk in Hackware to be at Google, I think it's quite amazing. Yeah. So, yes, now that we have given ourselves uh, some assurance, I think we're going to start. So, so yes, uh, the topic of today, we we'll try to make a digital photo frame. Basically, a photo frame that is connected to the internet because we're talking about internet of things today. We spent the past three months working on and off, trying to juggle our full-time jobs to get it, and we have come up with two ways to serve it with the Raspberry Pi. Uh, that last part was kind of uh, thought of by Donna, so, yeah. Um, okay, so for those who are new, the Raspberry Pi runs off very, very simple operating systems which you can just download, so there is no coding involved in this, right? It was really just a lot of tutorials that we follow and a lot of instructions that we just, uh, you know, typed into things like the command prompt, which is very new to us because we are used to Apple and Windows where you point and click, but there's no pointing and clicking if there's a lot of typing here. So we learned to type. Uh, we learned to type and we also learned to plug things in. For the newcomers um, who have not seen a Raspberry Pi, and this is your first glance at it, it's very scary and literally, but all we have to do is plug things in holes. So, yeah, yeah. So, so um, we plug. We, all we had, to do, we had to do for this project is we had to plug things in the HDMI port, a five four micro USB port, and a few USB ports. So this is very simple, right? There was no coding involved. We just plug things in, and after that, this thing worked. Okay. I think maybe I'll skip this, but the point of having this chart is to show that this was literally on the first page of Google search when you find out like various forms of Raspberry Pi. So looking out for different specs, understanding the various versions, even though the number of versions of Raspberry Pi is a lot, isn't exactly that hard. You can find hundreds of references like the one we just Googled on the way here. So we based our project on kits which come with screens. So I personally like projects with screens because they're the most engaging. I spend most of my life staring at a screen, so why not make a screen for me to stare at some more, right? And this project, I think we have a... Where's the... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's all the way downstairs. Okay, we'll show you later, but we have a project, this, that we based on, which is a kit that has a screen and a Raspberry Pi. And this is what we based off to get... Can I lift it up? Will it break? No? Okay, to get... This, we'll show you on our photo booth later. So this is the internet photo frame which we base on most kits that you can find for Raspberry Pis. Um, okay, so you see this picture in the middle, right, with the guy staring at the photo frame? That's what we wanted to build from scratch. But in the process of doing it and failing to do it, we found that there are free soft, there's a free online platform which provides this just like that. So you don't actually have to hard code this from scratch. If you want to have that uh, notice board in your home, you can run it off a browser. In fact, I'm going to show you right now what I did down there in the last one minute before I went up. Right? This is Dagbot's interface. Um, it's just Google Dagbot, right? And yeah, you, what it can do and what we wanted to, oops, what we wanted to do is to showcase photos on a photo frame. And not just any photos, right? But photos that you take in real time to be displayed. 
Um, this doesn't actually do that, but if you're keen to explore and you know, start your own for, uh, Internet of Things project, running a browser-based app is probably the easiest way to go because you don't have to code anything. You just open the internet browser inside the OS. And you can do things like pull photos from Google Photos in that board. Uh, in our case, uh, we pull Instagram photos from any publicly available, like viewable Instagram account, etc. etc. There are other things as well where you can change things like the candle, calendar settings, uh, date and time settings, you can even tell the weather to give you a free account that gives you access to a bot like this. So this is what you can run with your browser. So you can just imagine just attaching your Raspberry Pi to any screen of any size can pretty much give you a very decent looking uh, wall-mounted photo frame to, to observe the weather, read the news and to check out whatever your friends are posting on Instagram. So this is just to introduce to you, a free approach, easy approach for you to do a Raspberry Pi project, your first one, uh, highly recommended. And we decided to make our lives a bit harder by doing what Donna is going to share with you guys right now. Uh, let's go over here. Okay. Yeah, so that board, give it a try. Oh, yeah, before, maybe I don't go there, or you want to go there? That's fine. Okay, yeah, okay. so uh, as we were actually uh, playing around with that board, we also wanted to focus on fabrication. So this was our, the one on the top left was our first attempt at using a router. That was the first time we were using it. It was quite fun. It didn't uh, come out as nicely and as polished. Um, but hey, that's the joy in experimenting. Um, the problem here, actually, we finally didn't take this up to show you guys because uh, we had problems with power. The screen actually ended up uh, flickering quite a bit. So it's quite interesting because we were trying to uh, have a power bank that uh, would power the screen and then would power the Raspberry Pi. Um, and I think we still haven't fully understood it, like why, uh, how much we have to increase in terms of current uh, to match it. Because with the 12 volt DC, we are able to power everything properly, but when it comes down to 5 volt, we don't really know how the calculation goes, and I think we destroyed the screen too. <laughs> so, um, in our attempts, yeah, so can't show that. <laughs> Um, yeah, so this was just something that we were uh, testing out, checking the power. If it differs, it's uh, probably the power. So going forward, um, the second way to go about making a digital photo frame would be to uh, create it by yourself. So you have Instructables, GitHub, you can Google everything, and really awesome friends are just so good to have because uh, especially with comment, uh, understanding commands and understanding coding, Sometimes you just get stuck at the lines, and so um, you just can't see it no matter how much you try, and it helps to have people around. <laughs> um, all right, so going forward, we actually uh, decided to go to GitHub. We found this, these are the links that we basically used uh, to go about making our digital photo frame. And the first one, the whole automation community, they have this really wonderful step-by-step -step instruction on how you can uh, download Gribe, install Gribe, and uh, the problem with this, after doing everything, is it never works. And I was wondering why, it turned out it's not supported anymore. So we have to go to Gribe too. And so this guy called Vita Lee um, made Gribe too, hence uh, it, it managed to work now. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's supported right now. So, image viewers, um, this may be simple for some of you guys, but again, this is like my first time literally playing with Raspberry Pi. So, um, yeah, this was uh, a big deal for me. Um, at the moment, we are just using GPG view, a very simple command, but uh, going forward, uh, in order to have a slideshow, we need to install NEH. Um, you know, which is in this instructables, but we haven't gotten it around. This is a work in progress that we're going to show you. Uh, yeah, simple commands. In case you're new, there are some really uh, popular commands that you tend to use. So, uh, yeah, this for, for those who are new to it, um, very useful <laughs> to understand. Um, yeah, so let's show the demo, shall we? Let me just show the... How do you want to? How it currently is. Uh, open the photo. Uh, how do I go into the thing? There you just... Okay. Okay, so So this is mirrored and this is it. Um how do I start it again? 
So go and see um, the photos. Okay, so right now we are going to. Uh, wait, this. It's not plugging. Okay. Yeah. Okay, type something. Okay, hold on. Eh? I just press it. Okay, try again. Live demo happening right now. Uh, if only it was a mirror. Oh, you guys are great. Um, okay, okay so. Uh, yeah, I think you can see some attempts. Like, there were a number of attempts done, so I set a number of them. Uh, where is it? Okay, so this is using Bright, and after you install it, you can see this, uh, all those in purple. Oh, oh, it's all mirrored. It's all mirrored. Wow, is there anyone that can uh, help to show what's going on? Okay, fine. Um, you know, imagine it in your head. Maybe we just jump straight to the photo and just show everything. Right. Yeah, yeah. We so what we're going to do right now is demonstrate, um, kind of it's going to take a photo of all of us, and we are going to upload it into the drive. <laughs> I'll go drive, okay. So and, um, okay. okay, so... This is connected uh, over Wi-Fi, that's the point of it, it's not connected to the laptop, in case you guys think that we are cheating. Oh, thank you. Okay, so... Okay, everyone, think of your pose, you only got one shot at this, okay? <laughs> Ready? Wait, we have to be in it too. We have to oh. <laughs> I can't, yes. I can't tell. I can't tell. Are we all in it? I have no clue. <laughs> okay. Let's just try. Let's try, okay? Uh, one. Oh, God. Oh. One, two, three. Did okay. It? No, it did not take. Okay, now my. <laughs> one. I don't know how to go inside. Right. Okay. This is Donna's Google Talk. One, two, three. Okay, cool. So now I'm just going to push it up to Google Drive using our account. Then once the once the program syncs with what's on Google Drive, you should be able to see this photo up. Yeah. So he's uploading it right now uh, into our uh, Google Drive folder, yeah. and I'm gonna show you. I can hold it, no worries. Right. To the camera, I'll hold it to the body. Oh, uh, sorry, for those who don't know, it's uploading. Oh, you want to show the... Oh, it's off. Okay? It's, it's power, power. Okay, this should work. You okay. can select the... It's fine. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah. Almost there. It's 3.5 okay, megabytes, so people. Just okay, just pressing this to... Uh, Sync it right now, so I just literally okay, wrote. Oh. It's up. No? Yeah. Okay, okay, I might have to do it again. So, I'm just literally writing bright and syncing it. And hopefully, it is there. Yes, it is there. Okay. So, I'll show it. Um, <laughs> so almost there. Go for it. Go almost for there. It. Almost there. Cross okay. the finishing line. Multiple files with the same name to just choose. Oh, you want to know the file? You can choose anything, you just press next. Yeah, just choose one of these. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go! Yeah. 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 yeah, so that's our attempt. <laughs> Working progress. So hopefully, uh, going forward, we want to also be, uh, it's just a simple image viewer, and once we install something called FEH, uh, it will also allow for a slideshow to be there. So, you know, basically the idea is that no matter what's happening around, oh, thanks. Can I? Yeah. See you uh, no matter what's happening uh, around the world, if you've got, you know, people in different countries and doing the same festival, you want to just, 
upload into the same folder, you have this photo frame, and um, it starts syncing, and you can always, you know, like get updated with what's happening to everyone physically. That's all we have. Yeah.